John King plus Brawl post fight at Bama 29 alongside the victorious Brett McDermott. New heavyweight champion, must feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, you know. I can't, can't believe we got given the opportunity. And you know, like I keep saying to anyone, I'll take any fight anywhere. And uh, I took this tonight with, with, with open arms and I got the result. I'm, I'm stoked, I'm stoked. Yeah. You know, you are, you look grizzly, you look like a man, you look a very scary <laughs> man, but you're a very nice man. Is that is, flattering? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does, is, there a flip, is there a switch that flips when you, when you get in the cage? Um, I'm, I, just, I just get in the zone. I know yeah. it, there's nothing against him. It's, it's a job. Yeah. The door shuts and uh, the best man wins on the night. Yeah. Obviously, yourself, you've got a big name. Ruben Wolf also has a big name. You, you, no, there's, a, there's a, lot of, a lot of tape to research about him. Was there a specific game plan going in here? I knew the guy was tough and yeah. uh, he's very durable. And he doesn't get finished often, he, he goes yeah. the distance. So I've been, I've been smashing the cardio, I've changed my weight routine up for, him, for my stamina. It was always in the tank, that's why I didn't want to rush it. Because I, th I actually thought it was going to be a three rounder, I thought it was yeah. going to go the distance. And I, and I wanted to, to win it you know, each round. But, I had him hurt, I sent him back enough and I just went for the finish, mate. Yeah. You dropped him obviously with that right hand and you kind of poured the point, poured, uh, put on the pressure and landing shot after shot. Did you kind of sense at that point that it was going to be over? No, I've, I've seen him take so much punishment on the ground. He, t he did try and turn to get back up. Yeah. But I think I, wrote, I, I got a few from the side, he rolled back over and hit a few more, a few more bombs downward and then the ref stepped in because I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to stop, mate. Yeah. I was going to get dragged off him. Yeah, of course. Let's talk about, you know, uh, uh, something that happened a few months ago. You announced your retirement. You said you had the heart out your, your father, and it was time to hang up the gloves. What made you change your mind, and, and are you glad you're back? Well, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. It's, it's most of the fighters tell. It's not a lucrative sport. You know, yeah. you, you, there's not many rewards. I do it because it's competitive. Um, my fans enjoy it and enjoy the challenge. And I call it a day because work, work's taking more of a hold on my family life. But I got the call up for, for Bellator, yeah. main event, Lee McGeary, world number nine. And this is why we do this, to, to fight on big shows against top guys. And from that, I got this opportunity on Bama. So I'm glad I did come out of retirement and, or I wouldn't be stood here now. Yeah. Are you looking, you know, you, you've been in this game for a while. Are you looking for Three the long years, haul? Four years. Is yeah. that a while? Well, <laughs> it, it, in, in this game, it's a while. You yeah, know what I mean? true enough, yeah. yeah. It is, are you looking, you know, five, ten years into the future, or are you concentrating <laughs> on this? Just as it right comes, now? mate, this, yeah. this, this is all gravy. I mean, yeah. two weeks ago, I, I was done. I was, I was, the gloves were hung up. Yeah. But this is all gravy, you know. I, I got given the opportunity, I took it. We'll, we'll see what comes along down the line, if they want me to retain it. We'll see how things are with business and work, my health, you know. Never say never. Yeah. Obviously, you are belt now, so maybe you'll be able to call some of the shots. Is there anybody in mind that, that you'd like to fight? No, you're not, you're not someone you know, you're I'm not, I'm not that pick anyone. Yeah. Just throw them in front of me, and if it's right, we'll take it. You yeah. know, anyone, anywhere. That's why I've been given these good opportunities. Yeah, of course. What's the plan tonight to celebrate doing? Um, I want to get out and see my fans, to be honest, because yeah. I've touched, brought about 70 from uh, Bowling Furnace. I just want to go and see them all before they have that long trick home. Yeah. And uh, get a few sherbets down me because I am parched. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, and before we go, anyone, anyone you give a shout out to? Um, just my sponsors. We've got Animosity who hooked me up with, with some awesome fight wear. Um, my barra coach, Bob Cassidy. Um, Sergio Tapone, my Lancaster Markham MMA coach. And my fans, really. My missus and my kids. Love you all. And uh, thanks for letting me do what I do. Congratulations, thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for interviewing.